What's good guys, Mom and Kid here back again. It is some comic book news for you guys and what better way to dish out some comic book news than to talk about the X-Men. Uh, we were giving the the lineup of the three core X-Men titles but between that we started to see that there were going to be other books. Some characters will get their own solo series like Wolverine, Storm, and another person that I will talk about. But we also saw other team books. Outside of the X-Men, X-Force is coming back. And this is interesting because when you think about X-Force, you're, you're, you're probably thinking Domino and Cable and, and Warpath and... People like that, especially because they were on the team. Um, unfortunately, this team is going to be led by Forge. Yeah, Forge is going to be leading this team, which is kind of interesting. It's cool that Forge is getting some shine again. You know, I think people sleep on Forge uh, because of his mutant power. I mean, he's a, he's a big brain, and whatever he can think up here, he can create it. He just needs the resources. But it's cool, though. Um, so um, in July, I believe, July, we will see the new X-Force team, the all-new, all-different X-Force. And from what, it, what has been said, it's going to be almost a revolving door of experts, that specialists that will be on, that will be helping the team. So and they already announced that the first, uh, first specialist for each target what the team will be going after is Deadpool. So Wade will be on the first issue. The book is going to be written by Jeffrey Thorne and artwork by Marcus Two. Yes! I have loved Marcus Two's artwork. I've always been a fan of his art uh, ever since he was doing DC work. And then, of course, he did, a lot, he did a lot of independent work he did. He was the artist on the Cyborg 009 uh, graphic novel that I have. If you never checked out, do recommend that. That was great. His artwork was great. So it's been a while since we've seen Marcus too. Now, in terms of the team, the team is interesting. Um, so in terms of the team, like I said, we, we're, we're getting, there's only going to be technically, there's going to be six members. So an even number, an even team. Thank you. You guys know I am with, the odd number teams are. So, of course, like I said, Forge is going to be leading the team. We're getting Rachel Summers, Scott and Jean's daughter. We're getting Betsy Braddock, uh, Psylocke, or, well, she, well, she's not called Psylocke anymore. She was Captain Marvel for a while, not Captain, Captain Britain for a while, but I guess she's going back, to, she's just going to be called Betty Braddock because Psylocke now is the body she used to be in, Kawano. So, if you You've been, you know your Psylocke history like yours truly. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, we got Sage. I've always liked Sage. She's like a living computer. Like she, she that's, what, oh, that's pretty much what she is. And she was, she was on the X-Force team when Wolverine was leading it, the current X-Force team now. So, yeah, she's, I like her, her ability. You know, she could, you know, she could, uh, you know, see everything. And, like, she's like a walking, <laughs> like, She's like walking detections of like security system. That's basically what she is. And uh, we're going to get Surge. Yes! A, a young X-Men that I love. I love Surge. I thought she, she was great. Outside of armor, I always love Surge. Surge is, she, she used to wear these gauntlets that controlled her electrical powers because her powers were really out of control. And but also she could use her electrical powers to move really fast and things like that. So it's good to see Surge getting a a a, a, a some spotlight. And last but not least, they got this character because um, you're probably seeing the um, you're probably seeing the the, the image. Uh, this character called Tank. Uh, I'm sure I'm currently believing it's that big red guy you see in the in the image. Uh, I have no clue who he is, uh, but everybody else, I know who they are. Um, very light team. 
But I also can see where a lot of people are coming from with because a lot of them are saying, well, there's no original X X Force members, no 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 domino on the team, no things like that. And I can understand that. I understand where some people are coming from. But like I always say, give give it a try first. So yeah, that's cool. And they announced also this week that Jean Grey, one of the first X-Men students, one of the original core members, and uh, goddamn one of my favorite redheads, sorry, uh, Jean is re reuniting with the Phoenix. The title is called Phoenix, and she's going to be going on cosmic adventures for her destiny. You know, so while some of the X-Men are going to be on Earth, yeah, Jean's going to be out in space. So we're getting a real, true, cosmic, cosmic series with Gene as the Phoenix. Look, let's be real. It Was it cool to see uh, Echo with the Phoenix Force? Yes, it was. It was really cool. I thought it worked well. You know, being that not only was the Phoenix, but her being Native American, and it felt a little bit more like the, the, the Thunderbird and things like that of Native American legend. So it was cool. But eventually it was like, okay, you got to go back to Jean. That's who she is. Look, the Phoenix and Jean go hand in hand. Her family will always be connected to that entity, pretty much. So, again, this is another book that's coming out in uh, July, I believe July 17th. And um, as they say, Jean takes, takes to the stars in the Phoenix new series. Um, so this is all coming out there from the Ashes story arc. The, the writer of it is going to be Stephanie Phillips and artwork is going to be done by Alexandro Mir Mikola. I hope I'm saying the name right. If I butchered it, I apologize. Uh, I love Gene. I've always loved Gene. I will always have a fondness of Gene and uh, I'm willing to give this a shot. Um, and things like that. I usually when I, I usually with X Men titles, I will read the first story arc, and so like maybe the first five issues or first six issues, and if I don't, I'll drop it after that. But this, I'm, I'm a Gene, I'm a Gene guy, and you know I'm always gonna, you know, root for G. Sorry. <laughs> um. So yeah, uh, that's cool. And she's going to be teaming up with Nova and people like that. I read in the article. I'll leave the links of the articles in the description from Marvel. Saying that she's going to get a call from Nova. Uh, asking for help and things like that. So it's going to be cool. Hopefully this is going to be a book about. She, she's going to be in all different areas. Messing maybe working with the Shi'ar. And things like that. And, and all different types of. The aliens in the Marvel Universe. And. They'll probably be a little scared of her because she's the Phoenix. and But things like that, she's going to get a new costume that kind of represents the Phoenix. I think it's going to look, as you can probably see, it'll be kind of the classic look that she, when she wore the Phoenix before, she had that classic goldish yellow with the green. That's kind of what her look is going to be. Um, I, I'm looking forward to this, seeing what that is. I'm looking forward to seeing for both of these books. Um, I'm also looking for who's going to write the Storm, the Storm solo book. Who's writing? Who's going to be writing Wolverine? Will Ben Percy stay on? Will, will somebody else take up? I'm also interested in um, they're they're doing X Factor, so I'm looking who's going to be on the X Factor team. What's the team going to be? Are they bringing back the original members, or is it going to be a new era of X Factor? And then, of course, I'm also looking forward to this this. This, the book called NYX, which it kind of seems like they're mixing the real world with X-Men. I don't know, but I am looking forward to this stuff. So let's go down the list. What do we have so far? We got Uncanny X-Men written by Gail Simone. I cannot wait to that. I saw some of uh, uh, the artwork. Gail showed it off on her, her social media, and I'm like, oh my God, this is beautiful. Then you got X-Men, written by Jed McKay, the man who is becoming Marvel's diamond in the rough. Then you got Exceptional X-Men, which is going to be written by Eve L. Ewan. 
she'll be the I believe the first black woman to write a X-Men series. That's that's big. That's really big. Now we got Stephanie Phillips writing The Phoenix. And also we got um, uh, Jeffrey Thorne writing X-Force. I'm looking forward to seeing more of what's coming out. I cannot wait. You guys tell me in the comment section below what do you think about these titles so far. Uh, who do you feel? Answer me this. I want these answered so we can discuss it in the comment section down below. You know me. My pack Let's start the convo down below so we can we can discuss. I'm looking forward to it. So we need who's gonna write Wolverine? Who's gonna be the creative team on a new Wolverine? Who's gonna be the creative team on a Storm Solo book? Who's gonna be the creative team on X Factor? And I don't think they've announced who's the creative on this NYX book. So yeah, there's still not there it's gonna be a total of nine titles in the from the ashes this new era for X-Men. I'm looking forward to this. I will continue to deliver the news when it comes out. You guys tell me, like I said, I want to know. How do you feel about this? We got, there's going to be three X-Men that will have their own books. Wolverine, Storm, now Jean. And Jean. Let's, let's get the discussion started, bros. And with that being said, guys, this is my friend and kid, Yo Alpha, saying peace and love. Stay tuned. Keep it real. I don't know why I did that, but <laughs> y'all take care.